Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So today we're going to be doing a gun review on a firearm that I have actually had some some weird feedback on. It's 50-50. Some people think it's really cool, some people think it's completely unnecessary. Me, being an American, I think it is awesome. Um, I am talking specifically about the Taurus Judge. The one that I have is the Public Defender Poly. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, however, if you're new to my channel, uh, and this is the first time you're seeing a gun review video, the way I like to do it is I break it in three segments. Background information, yeah? Okay. Ellie Benelli here is gonna be joining me in this, and uh, sometimes she likes to throw her added input in. Um, sometimes it comes out in a growl, sometimes it comes out in a yell, so just be on the lookout for those. You're great. I know, you're great. Okay, so the way I do my gun review videos is I do some background information about the company. I do some uh, talking about the firearm. In this particular case, it is the Taurus Judge. Um, and then I give you the some you know some of the specs, the features, all of that stuff. And then we uh, I show you how to do a quick cleaning on it. And then we take it up to the lead dump and we do some field testing where we're shooting things, uh, looking for things such as accuracy and handling, comfortability, all that stuff. So, as far as the company goes, Taurus is a little bit of, I, I had some, some trouble understanding the way this company was structured. Um, Taurus Holdings is a Georgia-based company uh, that was founded in 1982. Now, Taurus Holdings is owned by a Brazilian firm, Taurus Arm, Arm, Armas, I think I'm saying that right, maybe. Um, so Taurus Armas is a Brazilian-based company, which is basically a gun manufacturer in Brazil that exports a lot of uh, firearms throughout the world. Um, Taurus Armas owns Taurus Holdings. Now, Taurus Holdings owns companies such as Taurus that, you know, we know their firearms such as this, the uh, GC3 9mm, the PT PT111, which is what the GC2 replaced and then it evolved into the GC3. That's a different gun for a different day. Um, and then they also own firearm companies such as Heritage and Rossi. So, um, this particular firearm was made in America. Taurus is an American-based company with, I guess, ties to Brazil. Um, that's pretty much the extent that I am gonna go into about the company. Uh, I have a few of their firearms. I do like them. They are reliable, they're accurate. Um, this one is a very interesting one, but we'll get into that when we get up to the range. Um, so on to the firearm itself. Again, this is the Taurus Judge Public Defender Poly. Now they do have different levels of the judge. You have your standard judge, you have your judge magnum, then you have your public defender, and then your public defender poly. Um, each one of these are different styles, different shapes, different sizes, different features. Um, the one we are focusing on today is the public defender poly. Um, now this particular one has a five round cylinder which can hold your 45 Colt or your 410 shotgun shells. Yes, that is right, shotgun shells. Um, I prefer either buckshot or this one particularly is a three, three stack steel plate. Uh, really good for, for home defense uh, in case you're wondering. Um, so those are the two rounds that it can carry. Uh, also, your shotgun shells, you wanna make sure they are two and a half inches. If you try putting a three inch 410 shell in there, it's not gonna work out for you. Um, you have uh, an adjustable front, or I'm sorry, a fiber optic front sight. You have an adjustable rear sight. Now this particular one is, it, it can be either single action or double action. Now, my cylinder is clear, there's no rounds in it. So double action means when you pull the trigger, the hammer comes back and the cylinder turns and it'll fire. Uh, you have a very, very strong pull. It's a very heavy pull doing it that particular way. Now your single action 
you can manually pull your hammer back. It spins the cylinder whenever you do that to make sure your next round is chambered. Your hammer locks in and then your single action just comes from pulling the trigger to release your hammer, firing the uh, pistol. Um, now doing it that way, your trigger is a lot shorter and it's a lot lighter. So as you can see, as I pull this hammer back, the trigger also pulls back with it. So rather than pulling the entire trigger back, pulling the hammer back, spinning the cylinder, carrying all that weight through your trigger, you can physically pull your hammer back. You have a much shorter, lighter pull, and therefore a more accurate shot. Uh, that is why this can be classified as either double or single action. Um, for this cylinder, you have an extended ejector rod. So then that way, as your rounds and shells are fired, once you're empty, instead of trying to get your fingernail up under them, you simply just press your ejector rod and it'll slide the empty cartridge out. You can reload and be on your way. Now the overall length of this firearm, this particular one, again, the Public Defender Poly, uh, is 7.65 inches. The barrel is only two and a half inches. It is an inch and a half wide at the widest part. Uh, standing up, standing upright on your, your grip, uh, it is 4.8 inches, and yes, I'm reading off a cheat sheet because I've had 13 concussions and sometimes it's hard for me to remember all this stuff. You dropped your toy. Um, the unloaded weight, so right now as it sits, it weighs 27 ounces. So it's actually a little bit heavier than some of my other full-size firearms, and that is because of the way it is constructed. Um, your frame material is just an alloy steel base the finish on it is a black polymer so it is actually uh, you know pretty high quality um, I've dropped this thing uh, a few times you can see some you know a little bit of debris from maybe something I missed the last time I was cleaning it um, you know there's really not any scratches or anything on it other than on the cylinder where it's been turning and sliding um, so the finish the, the black polymer finish on the frame holds up really nice. Um, the cylinder material is just an alloy steel uh, with a matte black oxide finish on that. And then, I'm sorry, I was pointing to the barrel, the cylinder, sorry. Um, that's your cylinder. And then the barrel is just a stainless steel uh, barrel with a matte stainless finish on it. Um, now the MSRP on this, you can find them anywhere from $450 to $500. I got this a few years ago, so it was a little bit less. Um, you know, as the years goes on, as firearm technology progress, pricing on firearms do go up, which is why I tend to tell people that firearms are an investment. If you, as long as you take care of them, clean them, you know, keep them looking nice, uh, you can often increase your resale value on them. And, uh, you know, at least get your money's back, your, your money back, you know, a few years down the road. You know, some people might disagree, some people might agree, but that's my opinion on it. Um, yeah. So, that is that. We'll bring you in for a nice close-up on everything you need to know for cleaning it. So, for cleaning this, it's actually very, very simple. Uh, just push your cylinder release in, your cylinder will pop out. From there, you can run your brush through the cylinder, cleaning out all of your cartridge ports uh, then you only have two and a half inches of barrel that you need to slide your brush down uh, loosen up all your debris you can clean it from both sides uh, you can use a little bit of solvent solution on the back end to clean up any sort of blowback or uh, gunpowder residue back there uh, yeah wipe it down throw a little bit of oil on it make sure the barrel or I'm sorry the cylinder sp spins nice and that's that so this one is very easy to clean and maintain, which makes it very nice. Okay, now that we have you guys filled in and brought up the speed on the Taurus Public Defender Poly, um, we're going to go ahead, load up all this stuff, me and Ellie Benelli here. We're going to go up to the lead dump and show you guys some field testing with it. Okay, everybody, so we finally made it back up to the lead dump to finish this review on the 
Tara's public defender judge, public defender Polly to be specific. Um, you know, we got hit with some crappy weather. Uh, to be honest, it's been probably a month and a half since I filmed the beginning of this. It's freezing cold out today. That's why I got the big coat on. Just wish I brought gloves. Uh, but I want to run the judge through some a uh, few field tests. Um, this one is going to be a little bit different from past uh, reviews I've done just because I don't, in my opinion, this is not going to be a firearm I'm concealed carrying. Uh, if I'm going to conceal carry, it's probably going to be my Canic Rival or my Sig Sauer M18. Uh, those are my two go-tos for that. Unless it's, you know, in the middle of summer, I have gym shorts on, then we are going to the Taurus 380. Um, yeah, so this one, I, I can't actually remember if I said it in the beginning of this video, but to me, this, this firearm's a novelty, um, you know. The practicality of shooting shotgun shells out of a pistol, you know, not not that practical. I think there's other firearms as well as other calibers that you can use to get a better effect. But if you're a gun enthusiast such as myself, I think the Judge is probably part of your collection just because of the fact that it does shoot, you know, a pretty nice round with the... Uh, 45 long colts as well as the 410 shotgun shells. Okay, so this first test is going to be basically accuracy. Uh, we're not going to mag dump it. Uh, this is a firearm that is a little bit more dip difficult to mag dump just because with every shot you have to recock your hammer. Now if you'll notice your hand grip on this is a little bit on the shorter side. Myself, I can comfortably have two fingers on there and my pinky floats. So I want to see how accurate I can be with this particular firearm at approximately 10 meters or 30 feet. Uh, we're going to start off with the 45 long colts and then we'll reload with the 410 shotgun shells and uh, we'll see what the difference is. So five rounds, I landed three of them. Um, full disclosure, I probably haven't shot this gun in about a year. Uh, so we'll chalk that up to user error. Let's get loaded with the 410 shotgun shells and see how big of a difference there is. Okay, so 410 shotgun shells at about 10 meters for accuracy. So there was a huge difference in the 410 shotgun shells. Now they were steel plated. Uh, I was using shells that had just three steel plates in for home defense. Uh, there was a lot more kick to them. I felt it a lot more right in the uh, arch of my thumb. I definitely feel a lot more comfortable and I feel I was a lot more accurate with the 45 long colts. I'm sure with a little bit of practice, I can figure out how to shoot those and be somewhat comfortable. Or it could just be the fact that it is, it is a harder hitting caliber. Okay, so for the next test, it's going to be an impact test. I have a water jug set up down there, and we're going to use the 45 Long Colt first to see what kind of splash that one makes. Had to move a little bit closer to make sure I hit it, but all in all, I think I had two pretty decent hits on it. Uh, pretty good impact with the 45 Long Colt. We'll switch over to the 410 uh, steel plated rounds and uh, give her a whirl. So I completely spaced out and forgot to turn the target camera on, so sorry about that. Uh, so I redid the two water jug shots, uh, I hope you enjoyed those, but obviously we got a much bigger splash and a better impact with the 410 shotgun shells, mainly because it's a shotgun shell and if it, unless it's slugged, these ones, like I said, are just plated. There's three steel plates, so as they exit the barrel, they spread out and cover a bigger 
bigger radius or a bigger area. So yeah, let's see what else I can think of and uh, maybe do some more shooting. So I'm cold, I'm shaking. I just hit the target two out of three times. So I'm gonna call that a wrap on this review. Um, keep it short, keep it sweet. In my opinion, uh, this firearm is a firearm that's either gonna be for home defense, something very close range, or frankly, in my opinion, why I bought it was for the novelty. Uh, I think it's funny and neat that you can get a pistol that shoots shotgun shells uh, that is the reason I was drawn to it that's the reason I bought it um, it's not gonna be something I conceal carry as I stated earlier I'm gonna use something that is more reliable and a lot more functional uh, but it is a fun gun to shoot um, just know that what you're getting is what you pay for you can obviously get a higher end model that's probably more comfortable this is one of the lower end models uh, I think I paid like 350 or 400 for it. Uh, oh boy, that was probably six or seven years ago now. Um, but it is a it is a fun little gun to shoot. Uh, it's one of those firearms that you're out with your friends at the range. You can pull it out and say, "Look what I have," and you know they might they might get a kick out of it. Everybody, I think, should try to fire this. Uh, just so that they know what they're getting into when you find a pistol that's very comfortable to handle very comfortable to carry they have something to compare it to uh, because this is not something I'm gonna want to shoot all day uh, just the few rounds with the 410 shells was enough to kind of make my hand uh, a little sore uh, just the kickback of it was a little bit too much for an all-day fun fun gun to shoot so in my opinion if you have a few hundred dollars you want to throw around for, for a laugh, check out the Taurus 410 45 Long Colt Judge. Uh, they make them in a bunch of different uh, styles and variations. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my review of this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning back into another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. If you liked what you saw, please click the like and subscribe. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.